guys, welcome to, let's say, the most touristy, the most famous beach area in all of India. We are right now in, let's say, the state of Goa and today I want to take you around. Like, I came here pretty much yesterday. I have not really an idea yet where is the main area. Certainly, I think this is already truly... What's up, boys? This is already definitely something. But today is going to be a bit of a first impression. From what I understand, there's really a lot of different neighborhoods. And today, we want to go through a couple of them. Let's see. What is going on in Goa? That was a close call. Over the next few weeks, I want to show you this country from a side you might have not seen before. From the villages, to the beaches, to the big city. Welcome to India. Okay, and while we're by the beach here in Goa, let me tell you for a second about the travel medical insurance that I use. So you see, if you're traveling, be it a short trip, couple of weeks, maybe couple of months, or you're living remotely, maybe you're a digital nomad, you're traveling around perpetually. You see, a thing that you really should have is a travel medical insurance, obviously. On the one side, if something might happen, safety wing is a great solution so first of all they're fairly affordable if you compare them to other major competitors at a similar insurance rate but the other cool thing is they're kind of work like a subscription so you can get them for a couple of weeks or a couple of months however long your trip is or use them as a long-term travel medical insurance so you can book it as you go on the website it's really simple to set it up and the other good thing is many countries these days require you to have a travel medical insurance be it for the visa be it in the airport they might ask for it for all of these situations is also within a couple of minutes you can sign up and of course if something might happen safety wing is available 24 7 with their hotline and obviously they have worldwide coverage i'll make sure to leave it all down below in the description and so with that, well, let's get back to today's adventure. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, see you. So, this place, Slow Tide. I was about to walk out to tell you the name of it. Pretty nice overall, right by the beach. Slightly on the pricier side, but generally everything is pretty affordable, so I am right now in a town that i would say is a bit let's say higher uh, on uh, local tourism so you don't see too many foreigners which is kind of interesting in a way still lots and lots of really nice cafes i'm just trying to look up the name for you right now where i am to give you some context so this place is called uh, the ta, 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 anjuna beach so pretty busy lots of nice cafes like that but there is at least like i would say five six major beach towns and this is going to be the mission today on the way here i saw a place renting on scooters so let's do that so basically here on the streets as you can imagine pretty much let's say selling like little trinkets okay, so let's continue our tour the plan looks as follows we are right now in let's say anjun which as i mentioned is much more let's say local tourism they got some really nice cafes actually so this is kind of like the town got some tourist stands got some more bigger development the burger factory over here so stayed a good day here actually pretty nice good infrastructure good cafes but i'm curious to see you know uh let's say the more famous speeches perhaps we were gonna find out today i'm really gonna take you along on that but first yesterday in the evening i walked down to a beach looked really cool let me take you there it's like a 20 minute walk the neighboring beach so here anjun and vagator uh, let's say I would probably say like 80-90% local tourism uh, Which makes it kind of like interesting and unique, but I have to tell you they have some pretty pretty good cafes Yesterday I was working in a cafe. I will film it for you right now a uh, small little cafe But the Wi-Fi guys, I'm telling you the Wi-Fi is actually quite crazy So for remote working things like that, I'm gonna talk about today as well Pretty good pretty pretty good. So let's walk down to Vagator and I think one thing if you're coming to Goa you really need to know is that if you hop off the airport there's really a lot of different areas you can go to Arambol the super famous one I haven't been to yet gonna take you later um, and then you can go to the south you can go to the north and everything is around like an hour or even more away so by the end of today you're gonna know where to go along the coast there's many different beaches let's explore 
Uh, how much to Alan Ball? Eight hundred. How much? Eight. Eight zero zero. Eight zero zero? Yeah. Oh, that's a bit much. How about five zero zero? How much can you do? Last you know? price, eight hundred. Okay. All right. Thank you. Right now through Anjuna town. I think what's kind of like interesting to know is also the area here has fairly decent development. So got some cafes, even a shisha bar in the evenings is quite busy here, but also they have pretty large supermarket. What is this called here? Oxford Arcade. I don't know about arcade, but they definitely have a bunch of groceries from what I seen yesterday. So basically everything you might want. Oh. If you're coming for a longer stay, if you're just... And the thing is like, you know, India is a big country, so they produce pretty much everything locally. So the prices from grocery stores, from what I've seen, especially if it's produced locally, which most stuff is, it's actually really low. So yeah, Justin Timberlake is playing, so we stop. Okay, so I would say the first proper beach for me in india so the other area there yeah decent beach but a lot smaller so here this is vagator beach fairly wide all the way up there there's some nice development on the hill cafes restaurants so yesterday in the evening i walked by actually they had some like party going on got a couple of nice beach cafes i guess you could say romeo lane that i gotta say already in the beginning of the video you saw they're doing a pretty good job and uh, yeah but still kind of like the vibe um, right now early morning pretty empty which I guess is nice in some way but I'm really curious so right now we're gonna walk back and grab one of the tuk-tuks one of the taxis go to the area that people say might get quite crazy so let's see hopefully we'll be more busy but you know you gotta be careful in life Sometimes you get what you wish for. <laughs> uh, let's go. Okay. So, taxi. Let's go, my friend. What was your name? Dinesh. Dinesh, all right. So, how is uh, Morjim? Morjim was good. Who lives in Morjim? Uh, Morjim also good and uh, Arambol also. Arlambolo right now is it like a low season or uh, yes low season now everywhere low season okay but still like open yeah but Arambolo was uh, good okay there was sweet lake and all well 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 uh, good morning namaste from a new place so moved yesterday to pretty much like a 30 40 minute drive this right now is the beach of a place called Morjim uh, probably like 10-15 minute drive from Arambol another very famous area and I have to tell you yep 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 it's getting a lot a lot um, very nice beach like to walk around very nice in the sense of it's not that busy right now like there's always clusters of people hanging out in certain corners but other than that good vibe great weather right now um, that's it like that. We're gonna check out the beach town of Morge. I'm gonna walk in there right now. From what I hear, there's a lot of Russians here. It's kind of like a mix, I would say. If you just walk on the beach, maybe like 50% local tourism. The rest, um, different places. Definitely Russian heavy, just judging from the menus, which are in English and Russian. And uh, yeah, let's explore a little bit. Let's see what is up here. So, so far, in some ways, I have mixed feelings about Goa going in and like really in a, in a neutral, positive way in the sense that there's parts that I really, really like, but I haven't quite yet found my corner. Usually when I come to a place, I'm like, hey, you know, I could go here. This could be like my cafe. This could be like my, let's say, morning routine with the beach. In Goa, so far, I'm like, okay, this is nice. This is cool, but I don't quite see exactly what I would be up to here. We'll see if that will change by the end of today's video. My goal is really to give you an impression. If you're traveling around India, I would say 100% worth coming. The question is standalone by itself. I think for some people it's extremely interesting if you're into the whole, like, let's say, idea of going to Goa. But outside of that, if you compare it to perhaps Sri Lanka, where I just come from, uh, so far for me, a bit pref preferable. Pref 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, always you know important for me to give you a very honest uh, idea. The thing here is, very often you have the beach, but the development on the street is not, let's say, really there. It's just a street, maybe a couple of restaurants. So we'll see what else we're gonna find. Whereas in Anjun, I have to tell you where I just came from, some super nice cafes actually. So yesterday also walking around this beach, good vibe, a couple of really nice kind of like beach cafes once again. Yeah, let's go into town, let's see what we can find. Whew. The beach walks, they have been blessing, they have been blessing, they have been. So that is something I generally like about Goa is the fact the buildings are very colorful. They have a Portuguese colonial history. So you see some churches as well. Very, very different vibe obviously from probably any other place in India. Here, even the colorful scooters right next to it. It's a vibe, it's a vibe. Can't say nothing about it. I love the yellow ones especially. There he goes. All right, all right. It's gonna be nice, perfect. Very good, very good. Is there any anything, any problem with it? Something I need to know? Any or good? Everything good? My friend, no problem. Here never. Solim. Solim. Okay. What about uh, Alan Bow? Often? Sometimes, best, uh, sometimes no. Sometimes. Uh huh. Best day, use bed, put helmet and go like this. Say again? If you if you see them, uh -huh. just wait, put helmet and go. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Alright. Alright man. Okay guys, and so we're finally, finally mobile. Just got a scooter, so could have negotiated a bit more, but just took it for one day to check it out a little bit. 500 rupee, I'm sure you can get it for 350 at another place I negotiated. But um, yeah, so with the police checks, I think here is quite tricky depending especially if you want to go far but i'm just going to be mostly in the neighborhood he just gave me a little go-to on the helmet I'll, I'll mostly wear it i'm sure i'm gonna get crap in the comments but uh, yeah let's get to the hotel let's move to a different area oh man it's so good to be on two wheels i'm telling you i'm telling you but yeah in the village i would say 90 percent of people here don't wear helmets and uh, the guy told me like you know <laughs> Yeah, basically, he gave me like a little advice on how to go about it. Okay, guys, let's check out a little bit the coffee culture here. We're nice on the wheels. Willing to explore. Cafe Sutra. All right. Looking fairly promising already. Oh, yeah. I'm going to work with that. a pretty nice cafe cafe sutra um not the best wi-fi but generally wi-fi is pretty good overall here so for remote working actually i was so surprised driving by portuguese churches i'm starting to vibe i'm starting to warm up to go uh, as you maybe could have told from this video i wasn't what the hell was that all righty guys god knows what the heck was that something falling off the sky but um let's go to the main attraction probably of today Arambol the most famous area around here let's check it out 15 minute drive so just in between doing a little stop I think this is called Mandrem it's under um, under where we're going right now in between of more gym and the place we're going to right now so yeah honestly the beaches here are really warming up some really really cool stuff probably a little bit hard for you to see with the wide angle on the side there's always some cafes so I'd say like that already the summary of the first impression is some really nice nature but you have to kind of like find your corners find your restaurants because if, especially walking is not pleasant at all now that I have this bad bad boy I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good pretty good Let's go. We have 
have made it to Arambol Beach. Very nice and windy, very different vibe here. So what they say is like, let's say, this beach can get quite crazy in terms of party. And uh, right now I think somewhat off season. So it's a good amount of people, fairly busy, not crazy busy, very different vibe. Also famous just, let's say, for a lot of like spiritually oriented retreats, yoga. Some people like to play around with different substances around here, right here. Not that I would know, I mean, seriously. Um, not in that chapter of my life currently, but um, yeah, all kinds of different plants. People like to play around in this area from what I hear. But yeah, this is the beach and I have to tell you actually, pretty nice. Wide, dogs, people walking along it, fairly clean as well. Positively surprised, I like it. So this is basically kind of like a bit of a, let's say, shopping street, if you will. Just a bunch of clothing guys uh, that wear uh, wavy clothing I guess you can buy it here I'm sure yeah let's check out here we walked into what's the name again uh, da, 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 Bolt. well well guys so Arambol Beach if you walk back a little bit just a little bit further it's crowded like crazy in the back here so Again, from what I can tell, today mostly local tourism, with few exceptions further back. But I have to tell you, yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, very, very busy vibe. There's a guy selling ice cream here in the middle of the beach. And uh, here, just the energy. Good amount of families, good amount of young people overall. Very nice. Hello, hello, bro. This is the ice cream man right there. <laughs> so, let's say it like that. First impression of go over the past two three days number one nature is actually a good bit even better than i thought it would be i expected it to be nice but they have some like really nice beaches uh, very similar in the sense probably nice shirt uh, to sri lanka just the way they look the way the hills are on the other hand uh, let's say the development some really nice cafes but at the same time the infrastructure when you drive around or especially if you walk around walking around i highly would not recommend you doing uh just honestly breaks the experience a little bit i walked around the first day or two and i think this is why my first impression wasn't the best necessarily just the streets are not made for that simply said uh once you get a scooter it's actually super super enjoyable to just drive around taxis and tuk tuk for whatever reason are not that available but yeah wow here is truly truly something on uh, going on like the dog basically this is the vibe of the whole beach you're not gonna you know get too lonely out here <laughs> but yeah hope you enjoyed today's little tour i think it's probably a fairly long video overall we checked out some nice cafes the one in the beginning absolutely loved it just not my favorite area kama sutra very good their avocado toast was a bit weird i think it's a russian owned place so they did it the russian style and uh yeah so in terms of india right now this is a video series of i think around 10 videos or something like that we're gonna be in mumbai we're gonna be in chennai and i really for a long time wanted to check out goa and um yeah here we are i think driving around on a scooter tomorrow we might go to a place that i think they call paradise beach it's possible to drive on the beach itself there quite looking forward to that so i'm gonna go inside a little bit see what's up there and we're gonna see each other in the next video and to finalize also in terms of coming to work here stay for a couple of weeks nature top wi-fi great community so far i would say average it's definitely there there's a good amount of people even living here long term but so far i haven't quite got the gist of that perhaps maybe in the next video i think i'll shoot another one here and yeah if you're new here join me on instagram as well if you want to see where i am right now got a world to see stands for building a life of freedom around the world and so you too got a world to see we got a world to see man yeah well, it is got a world to see. That was a close call. <laughs> 